I did not find the Mustang. I did see the Eclipse and the Grand Cherokee Trackhawk. Um, I did not buy the Eclipse of the Grand Cherokee and I did not see a Mustang. But I did get these two. And I was really excited about a 68 Charger, but this wide body nonsense with the Camaro, the 69 Camaro fenders is almost a little too much. It's still awesome, but it's also a little disappointing. Hot Wheels finally making a 68 Charger and it's not stock. But anyway, let's open these up. As far as the Lycan Hypersport, I'm not really even into this car. I've never quite liked it. It always looked like some kind of a Lamborghini kit car to me. The only reason I did end up buying it, um, as you might or might not know, it, it's powered by a, a roof Porsche-based six-cylinder, flat six-cylinder engine. I believe it's something similar to what like a GT3 RS would have nowadays. Um, so that's kind of cool. I forget if it's turbocharged or not. Again, it might be like a 911S motor. It's what, whatever roof developed for these guys. I'm sure it's to some degree. Um, and hand built and sort of uh, customized for Lycan. But again, I'm not a huge fan of this car. It's cool and wild and wacky. And it did have a really cool scene in the Fast and Furious movie. But I don't know. It's always been. Looks like a 21st century Fiero kid car. And like I said, as far as the Charger, this thing is wild. I mean, like in a good way, too. I do kind of like that crazy, wacky 69 Camaro style fender. Oh my god, look at this rub off from the packaging. That's very unfortunate. It rubbed right here. But apparently this thing was rear-engined. I think it's a elephant motor. Something something out of a Demon or a Hellcat, some, something along those lines. It's basically an extreme very wild, radical, pro-street approach to a 68 Charger. But it, again, it is kind of exciting that Hot Wheels finally did those 68 Charger taillights. That is cool. Hopefully they do a stock one now. I wanted to show these things inside, indoors, with slightly less extreme lighting. So there you go, like in Hypersport, and the 68 Charger from, actually I'm not even sure which Fast and Furious movie this is from, I forget. Pretty wild though. And again, this packaging rubbing off on this car is not making me happy. It's pretty disappointing. Ugh.